It's time to learn, repair, and maintain everything coffee. Instructional videos brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hi, I'm Todd from Whole Latte Love. Today I'm going to show you how to prime the pump on a Profitech Pro 700. This is not something you would normally have to do, but if you get a brand new machine or if for some reason the pump gets airlocked, you may have to do this. Uh, it's very, it's, this just doesn't happen on a Pro 700, but can happen on any machine, even with a vibration pump or a rotary pump. The key is that there's air in the pump, and these pumps are not good at sucking air or pumping air. They're great at pumping water. So we're going to show how to get the air out and get the water into it. First thing we're going to do is take the top of the machine off, pull out the water reservoir. Then inside the water reservoir, we have a water reservoir fitting down in there. What we need to do, well first empty the water reservoir out so there's no water. We have to fit this tube onto that little fitting down in there. And we take a priming pump here, a little accordion pump, and we'll fit this onto here and that onto there and we're going to force water into it when the pump is on. And we have both those parts available. Yes, we do. And we're going to put the part numbers yep. on the screen here. Yep. Okay. First thing I like to do is set the machine so it's in the, in the front switch here, so it's in the water line connection position. So we'll push that over to there. That way, even if the water reservoir is empty, the machine will still operate. The second thing we have to do is make sure that the, the valve on the bottom of the machine is set to the reservoir position, which is facing that way. Okay? Let me see that again. So that position there. So that's the proper position. Facing to the left. Okay. That's for a water reservoir. So then that's in the water reservoir position. This switch in the water line connection position as if you had it hooked up uh, to a water line. Next we do, kind of nice if you set on the edge of the counter like this with this overhanging the edge like that. Makes it easier. We want to fill up your tube with water first. So we Go like that, and put your finger over the, the top here, okay? And like you did used to do with a kid when you had a straw, hope the water in, like magic. And then we have to fit it over the top of the fitting in there. It's a good size too, it fits over pretty good. Then take the accordion pump there and suck the water up. This has a fitting on the end that we'll cut off. Uh, so it'll come just like this and force that onto there. Okay. And put the reservoir back into place. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, if this is the first time you're using the machine, we want to make sure that we fill the boiler first. So put this lever in the up position. Fill the, this will fill, fill the brew boiler. And the machine's off right yeah, now. Yeah, the machine's off right now. And then we're going to raise this switch up, turn the machine on. As soon as the pump goes on, squeeze this bulb here and force the water into the pump. And then as soon as it takes the water, turn the machine off right away so you don't suck more air into the pump. They'll leave the water in there, then we fill the water reservoir, put it back in, and we should be good to go. So I'll show you how we do this. Raise that up, pump goes on, squish it, and then turn it off right away. Okay? In this case, I'll turn that off so it'll make more of a mess. That's for demonstration purposes only. Okay, pull this tube off, fill the water reservoir with water, set this back to your reservoir position over here, okay, like that, and just put it all back together. Then turn the main power switch again on, and the pump will continue to operate and fill the boiler. If the steam boiler is empty, it'll fill up. If it's not, then it won't operate. Um, and raise this lever up, let it run till you have water coming out of the brew group. That way you know the steam or the brew boiler is primed. So that's basically how you do it. So my name's Todd from wholelattelove.com on how to prime manually the Pro 700. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.